everyone, it's the Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for a special video. In this one here today, I wanted to share with you how I found God by seeking Him with my entire heart. The Bible itself tells us that anyone who does this will find God if they honestly and truthfully seek Him. So, let's get into it. Now, let's look at a few Bible scriptures first of all. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7, it says, Ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. So when it comes to seeking God, all we have to do is ask Him to reveal Himself. We have to seek Him. We have to knock. We are also told in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 13, You will seek and find me, when do we find God? When you search for me with all your heart. In 1 Chronicles 22:19, it says, Now set your heart and soul to seek the Lord your God. I believe many people have not encountered God, do not have a relationship with him, or have understanding of Jesus Christ because they do not honestly seek them in their heart. This is a problem, and I just wanted to encourage anyone out there who is questioning whether or not God exists to take a moment and truthfully, honestly, seek Him out. And don't seek Him out trying to prove Him wrong. You have to look at your heart's intent. Many people, when they go and, oh, I'm going to try and see if God exists, they already have the idea that He doesn't lodged deeply in their heart. And they're just trying to find information and things that are going to justify what they already have an idea about, which is their preconception that he doesn't exist. So what I want you to do is just honestly, from your heart, seek him out. I didn't even, trust me, think that I would end up where I'm at today. There's no way, you know, even six years ago, someone could have approached me and told me that I would be a follower of the Lord Jesus that I would believe that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life, and that no one makes it to the Father but by Him. A lot of times, back when I first got saved, I would wake up in the morning and actually be shocked that I'm a Christian. It kind of baffled me. The experience happened, and I didn't have much control over it. There was definitely a supernatural power at work. And now, I know that's the power of God, the power of His Holy Spirit, that came in and lived in me and gave me eternal life, opened me up, divinely inspired me to the truth of God in his holy word. So it's a beautiful thing and I don't want anyone out there to miss it. Uh, when I was a young teenager, I mean, I was just like most teens in school. I cared about popularity, having the nicest clothes on, making sure I was going to the coolest and wildest parties, etc. Uh, I never really thought about God very often. And then all of a sudden, I started to have this awakening where I recognized that, you know, the way that I was living was extremely shallow, that there had to be a deeper meaning to life um, and myself and reality. So I started to seek out truth and I didn't look in Christianity. I'm not going to go too deeply into where that led me because uh, I've talked about that previously on my channel, but. Uh, in short, I just got into New Age philosophies and Eastern mysticism, uh, you know, even philosophies like Plato and Socrates and all that stuff. So I was into all of that, but I was seeking. At least, at least I was trying to seek. Uh, for many years, I did seek. And the one thing about the truth is when you do find it, it will set you free. It's a truth that you will know, and not only will you know it, but the truth will actively set you free from the bondage in your life. This happened to me in 2010 in January when I first heard the gospel preached. I remember in that moment, that was it. That's when I found Jesus at that moment. And I knew that he was the truth because I had been seeking him for years and years. Um, the beautiful thing about becoming a disciple of the Lord Jesus is understanding that Jesus himself is the truth. So I no longer had to be a truth seeker because I had found what I had been seeking all these years. In Christ Jesus, I had found what I was looking for and I didn't need to seek anywhere further. 
This is the amazing thing because Christ Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. And when we find him, he sets us free and we have found everything that we can be seeking. He is the mediator between man and God, the only one who is worthy. And when you find him, you're going to know you have found God, truth, righteousness, and eternal life. So I just wanted to make this video here to encourage anyone out there, if you're if you don't know God exists, at the very least, seek him and just have a, a honest intention about it, that that's really what you're going to do, that you're going to set out from the get-go and just allow God the opportunity to show you and reveal to you that he does exist. Um, he's amazing. And when you re have a relationship with him, uh, words really can't describe the awesomeness of that. So I hope this video is a blessing to you, or maybe it's for someone you know. Uh, so please like, share this video, uh, and get it out there. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one makes it but by him. And all those who seek him, honestly, with everything they have in their heart, will find him. Thanks for taking the time. This is the Vigilant Christian saying God bless each and every one of you. As always, stay vigilant and fear no evil.